Hey guys, Desletter Magic here. And have I got a news story for you. This is the most groundbreaking, shocking, amazing, most relevant to your life story that has ever happened in the history of Magic the Gathering. They have censored an artist's work. How dare they play Sam White like this? So this is the card in question from the D&D set. It's Nelfeshni. And it actually is a pre-existing, very specific looking demon from the D&D world. Just type that name into Google Images and you'll get all kinds of different versions. So they must have just went to Sam White and said, here, draw this. So what got censored? Because obviously this is the on the card version. Well, it was the demon's tattoo that said, I hate <laughs> Just kidding. Here, corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. And this time, they're not the same picture. Oh yes, they felt the need to delete them nips though. So naturally the internet, especially social media, uh, one, didn't notice, and two, the couple that did handled it in a mature way without memeing on it. And that's the end of the story and this video. I mean, except for the people that said when it says Beast Demon, they read it as Breast Demon. And of course the card says whenever you cast a spell from exile, so somebody posted on Reddit, Wizards also exiled his nipples. Boy, I wish we had a comment or statement from Sam White, the original artist. Yeah, we do. He said, I just realized the... I was probably supposed to say they, so I just realized they censored the nips on the actual card. Can't say I'm shocked, to be honest, but extra funny seeing the reaction to the card on Reddit. Haha, <laughs> right? Now please censor the mustache in your profile picture. I find it offensive and I don't even know why. So I, I gotta say, what was the train of thought here? With all the crazy dumb crap that they've thrown on cards in the past, what was the thinking here? What, what was their line? A lot of people I've seen online are bringing up like, Okay, so they allowed this, 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 like even recently this, 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 and this. But male nipples on a male demon in a fantasy game that has established art that's, I believe, been published by them in the past. That had to go. Yes, because as we know, in America and worldwide, it's illegal for males to go shirtless in public. Oh wait, no, that's not true as far as I know, anywhere. They do seem to be very, like, fat apologists there, and maybe that's it, I, I don't know. The game's Mark 13+, plus, for God's sake. So then I got to thinking, are there any other examples that we just haven't noticed? And the answer is a very confusing, Harris Tenacious Underdog. So then you might be thinking, okay, maybe it is a fat thing, and it could be, that's my theory, but the most important takeaway from this is that Tenacious Underdog needs to be banned immediately. So there's another theory that I guess Nelfeshni could be male or female? I checked multiple resources and none of them were real clear on that. And I guess maybe because it's up to interpretation, I don't know, maybe they thought somebody would think something, whether or not it's true. I don't know, that, that almost had to have been it, but then I thought, well, who caught this? It would seem, especially lately, that Wizards doesn't even have a contracted or direct hired proofreader. So I don't they have like a legal department where they're like, hey, make sure all the art is okay. And they're like, oh, gotta, gotta censor them there. Nobody's scrutinizing it that closely. I, I don't get it. So people were joking about how they're going to go even further. They're still deeply and sincerely offended by this. So the second they pull this card, they're going to draw a pink bikini on it. And my gosh, not only with me mentioning it, but the couple people that saw this online and multiple people suggested, hmm, can't wait till the alterers get a hold of this. So, okay, I think you get the picture. People are comparing him to the guy from Fight Club. And somebody said he looks like an orangutan. I guess we'll just never know what happened with this, why somebody chose to do that, who they thought they were offending, and I, I have no idea. What I do know is that at least one person replied, it's like looking in the mirror. So that's the tale of the mysteriously censored art. Hopefully they ban Tenacious Underdog because I'm d deeply offended by his shirtlessness and definitely not the fact that he just keeps coming back and he's virtually unbeatable. Unless you're playing something specific like an Exiler. Yeah, that's definitely the reason, so le let's get that uh, petition going for, for WotC. And um, by the way, there was a rumor that this week they were going to ban something and then it was like a holiday, but it was supposed to be Monday, which already didn't add up and... They didn't, maybe they just decided to take more time to ban something else, or it was complete wishful thinking, trolling, or, you know, something that went, you know, telephone on the internet from, I think they're going to do this, to, hey, somebody said they're going to do this, to, they're definitely going to do this. And then they didn't, but if you haven't been playing, uh, like, Mythic all through May, like I did, um, oh my gosh, it is bad. It's all just mono black and degenerate, you know... All control planeswalkers or all control manlands or both. It, it's it's unplayable. It, the the game is honestly unplayable. Red Rush is back. 
every like bad, not fun to play against, anti fun mechanic or deck archetype is here. People have actually resorted to mill too now. And that's a shame. So I'd love to see a ban. So maybe they should take less time, you know, photoshopping out some random card art demon's nipples and start to ban some cards in standard. Wouldn't that be a thing? So thanks for watching, everybody. Got some more crazy videos coming up, and I'll see you guys next time.